between the rise of the Kimrog Empire and the tumultuous Demon Wars, there was an enigmatic era. A time when brave souls traversed oceans and continents in search of glory, riches, and power. Let us tell you of the days of high adventure. The day of our departure was a bittersweet moment for myself, and I'm sure it was for the others. That morning, I woke up and gave my thanks to the moon that we were blessed with another day. I used my druid craft to predict the weather and found that it would be a good day to set sail. I dressed and the whole family sat down for breakfast, including our retainer, Obai. It was a happy moment for me. We had not sat as a family in so long. It is a memory I will carry with me forever. Once we were done, we packed what few belongings we would carry ourselves, I strapped on my new studded leather armor that I had acquired. It would prove useful in the journey. Putting the rest of my gear and weapons on, I went downstairs where we gathered at the wagon. We said our farewells and departed toward the dock. Once aboard the ship, we met Captain Fu, a giant of a man if I ever saw one was adorned in fine clothes and jewels. He gave us a tour of the ship and showed us to our lodgings. We had dinner together as a family and met another family that was on their way to the island of Nicaea. Ishu, they said. The man's name escapes me, but their family name was Chen. After dinner, Xiao decided to have some fun in the galley, drinking and gambling, while Cho and myself decided to have a look around. But Cho asked to go back to the room for a bit, and he impressed me. He had always had a talent for mimicking voices, but he practiced a bit and nailed the captain's voice perfectly. We then walked around and went down into the cargo hold, which was pitch black. Cho reached for a lantern, but I still his hand and gave him and myself the blessing of dark vision. Exploring the hold, I cast another spell to detect any magic and found it in a chest belonging to the captain. Cho was able to pick the lock, but both of us were assaulted by a poison gas. We then discovered a false bottom with a ring inside it, which was a source of magic. It was made of a strange metal and had characters of which I did not recognize. We put everything back as it was and rejoined our brother Xiao in our room and discussed what we had discovered. I'm quite curious about the ring, but the journey is young. I look forward to what we will see. It's me, Wizzy. I'm back once again to remind you to subscribe and click on the notifications button and also watch videos that are over there. And then don't forget to tune in to the next episode of whatever show you are just watching and crafting videos and DM tips and pro tips for vlogging and all sorts of gaming things.